reflections on the water More than darkness in the depths Trying to reinvent a classic game is a difficult prospect. There's a fine balance between implementing old ideas and introducing modern concepts that usually disappoints on both sides. That's not the case of GoldenEye Reloaded. The spy elements that made the Nintendo 64 classic so compelling are wonderfully realized here, and the modern amenities make it instantly enjoyable for anyone who'd rather not live in the past. There are a few changes aside from high-definition visuals compared to last year's Wii release, but this is still a great experience whether you're playing alone or in online competition. Just like in the Nintendo 64 original, stealth is one of the key components of Reloaded, and it's a satisfying rush to sneak up on unsuspecting soldiers and strike them dead before they know what hit them. The AI is sometimes touchy, detecting you even when you're out of sight or very quiet, but these inconsistencies are rare enough that it doesn't destroy your immersion. Silently killing your foes is not only the best tactic a lot of the times, but it's incredibly fun as well. Being sneaky isn't the only hint that you're playing as a world-class spy. There are also objectives you must complete, and these add some diversity to the core gameplay. Most of them involve taking photographs with your smartphone, but it goes deeper than that. You often have to figure out how to proceed, and it's rewarding to unlock a door that barred your way or hack a nearby terminal to commandeer a turret. The objectives are a cool respite from the stealthy action. Of course, Reloaded isn't just about completing objectives and moving about undetected. You can shoot soldiers dead as well. Sharp controls make it a snap to gun down your angry attackers, and a huge array of weapons give you all sorts of different ways to exert your dominance. You can screw a silencer on your pistol if you want to quietly take out your foreign foes, or fire off some AK-47 rounds to be as loud and deadly as possible. There's plenty of variety in the campaign to ensure you're never doing the same task for long. Some of these are enjoyable, such as slow motion segments where you gun down helpless guards. Others, like the quick time events, aren't as successful because there's a disconnect between your presses and the events on screen. Still, most of these diversions add to the experience, making you feel like an expert spy who can handle any problem. The single-player campaign lasts for more than 10 hours, and there's plenty of reason to replay missions when you're done. Harder difficulties add objectives, which push you into previously unexplored parts of the level. On the hardest difficulty setting, your regenerating health is replaced by an armor system that makes every hit against you count. Having to go through missions without the crush of regenerating health is taxing but empowering, and a great option for those who crave a more thoughtful, measured experience. One of the additions from last year's release is a series of MI6 challenges to take part in. These single-player missions have you completing specific objectives as quickly as possible. And it's fun striving to be deadly and efficient. It's disappointing that there isn't a cooperative option, but they provide a solid alternative to the campaign action. The multiplayer competition isn't at the same high level as the single-player campaign, but it has its own appeal. Sharp controls and clever level design make it fun just to shoot down your enemies, and a perk system gives you tangible rewards to strive for. There are also a few additions that weren't in the Wii original. There are more modes and maps to play around with, and classic Bond villains such as Oddjob even have their own special moves. There's enough variety in the game types, characters, and maps to make competitive mode a fun detour from the exciting campaign. Though there have been a few improvements from last year, there's one major change for the worse. Previously, you could unlock a time trial mode that measured how quickly you can speed through levels. That feature has been unceremoniously removed in this version, which is a shame because it was a tense and exciting change from the normal campaign structure. GoldenEye Reloaded is a great game that does justice to its prestigious name. Its desire to create its own experience instead of just remaking the original was a choice for the better. This is a well-designed game in just about every facet, and it's easy to enjoy whether or not you played the original, and even if you couldn't care less about James Bond. GoldenEye Reloaded proves it's way more exciting to create your own memories than just rely on nostalgia. Yes.